Bill, and welcome to the channel. Uh, Lori, somewhere behind me, uh, playing a game of uh, Mortimer pickleball. If you've not played that game yet, it's a fun game when you have six people and you don't have enough people to have two separate games, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, purpose of this video, it's a follow-up to my video I did about starting to take hyaluronic acid knee injections. I got my first uh, knee injection Friday. Today is Wednesday, the following Wednesday. Uh, the procedure was really painless. It's like getting a flu shot. Um, they cleaned the area. I was laid on the uh, examination table with my legs straight out. Uh, it was my right knee that got the shot. The doctor was uh, to my right side of the exam table. He makes a little spot of where he's going to do the injection. So he has his injection point and then he cleans the knee area around that injection point. And then he uses some uh, spray on like freeze stuff or something. And uh, before you know it, he's inserted the needle. And what you feel uh, inside is kind of a warm uh, sensation. There was really no pain. And, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it was uh, a piece of cake. I've waited a few days to uh, do this video to make sure I didn't have any side effects uh, from the first injection. Um, there's really, uh, again, anything I say here, I'm not a doctor, I'm not offering medical advice. Uh, if you're interested in knee injections, that's a conversation you should have with your doctor, whether cortisone or hyaluronic acid or another type of therapy is appropriate, your doctor will help you make that decision. So. Uh, this is just talking about myself and what I've decided to do. So um, I did some drilling on Monday uh, and didn't do any drilling on Tuesday. I've been playing pickleball for an hour and a half this morning, pretty steady. Now the doctor said it's going to take um, six to eight weeks before I see some benefit from uh, these injections, if there will be a benefit. So the uh, this therapy does not necessarily work for everyone. Um, I have another injection, my second injection coming up this Friday. And then uh, the Thursday after that will be my third injection. So the doctor did say after two injections, people start, if they're gonna start to experience some relief, uh, generally it's after the second injection uh, that they may start to uh, feel that relief. Now, I've made several changes to my diet. I've taken the sugar out. Uh, sugar it definitely can contribute to inflammation. So I've taken that out in my continued effort to drop my weight to reduce the load on my knees. Uh, I'm also taking some Vasuela Serrata, which is a supplement along with uh, turmeric with curcumin. And those two uh, supplements, according to some doctors on uh, YouTube, uh, depending on who you want to believe, can help mitigate inflammation. So I'm doing uh, uh, those supplements as well. So I will do a follow-up after the second shot, uh, but I've been playing this morning for an hour and a half, and I'm playing without my knee brace. Um, it appears I am now allergic to neoprene. So this uh, sleeve is neoprene and uh, that is in part what creates the compression and I have a lot of uh, rash on my knee and that rash uh, did not start until I got this new uh, knee sleeve which I think I showed in the last video on hyaluronic acid so uh, today I'm playing without a knee brace uh, again I don't know that I really need one per se um, it was something that I did over the years and I think my first sleeves like this were getting to be four or five years old and uh, you know I was wearing them and uh, no uh, contact dermatitis uh, was apparent with my older sleeves but they had been washed so many times uh, but this new sleeve I did not wash or try to do anything to it 
uh, before I wear, wore it. And so my knee has flared up with what they call contact dermatitis. Uh, I went on Reddit and other forums and uh, people do experience an allergic reaction to neoprene. So if that's something you're dealing with, uh, please let me know in a comment. If you have a different type of sleeve that does not have neoprene that you're using, uh, please let me know. Again, um, uh, when I see my, uh, the physician assistant who does the injections in my knee this Friday, I'm gonna talk to him about uh, any alternatives to a, uh, a knee sleeve that does not contain uh, neoprene. So anyway, everything's going good. Uh, I'm uh, glad I made the decision to try hyaluronic acid. I'm glad that Kaiser offers that as a treatment. Uh, uh, the brand is SuperX FX uh, that they're uh, using uh, on, on my knee and uh, I'll keep you posted how things are going but uh, immediately with some of the pain starting to be reduced because of the variety of things that I'm doing including continuing the Vol Volterran uh, twice a day morning and night uh, and changing my diet and those type of things maybe the hyaluronic acid is starting to work I think it'd be a bit early but uh, you know, right today I'm pretty much pain free and uh, that's a good feeling when you're playing pickleball. So, all right, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, see you on the courts.